Welcome to 2 Minutes Bio. In this video, the purpose and the background of Meselson and Stahl's experiments will be explained. During the time when Watson and Crick discovered the DNA double helix structure in 1953, it was also implied from the structure that the DNA strands are duplicated from a single strand template. However, it was only a hypothesis without experimental background, so it was strongly required to prove the replication mechanism experimentally. In 1957, the U.S. biologist Matthew Meselson and Franklin Stahl utilized nitrogen isotope 15 and cesium chloride centrifugation method to unravel this mystery. There were mainly three hypotheses, conservative, semi-conservative, and dispersive. Conservative replication says, double strand of DNA template is preserved as it is, and the newly synthesized DNA is composed of two new strands. Sammy Conservative explains that the newly synthesized DNA double strand is composed of one template strand and one newly added strand. The dispersive pattern explains the randomly mixed template strand and newly synthesized strand. As a result of the experiment, it is proved that the DNA replication is undergone by semi conservative principle. The experiment they've done is called the most beautiful experiment in the world. The detailed experimental procedures will be explained in the subsequent videos.